Now on one, so many men, so little time. Tracy's been busy in Short on Street. See how funny that thing is when noise control turns up on your doorstep. I hate to be a pain, but the music's pretty loud. Can you turn it down a bit, please? You'd be the dickhead that called noise control on us. You want a war, honey? You've got it. How long? A few days. And yet you've dated Libby and been dumped. It's not like that. Really? Because from the way she stormed out, it kind of looked like it. Look, she's upset that I trashed her boss's car, that's all. No, I think you are a player and she found out. We had a few friendly drinks the other night. That's as far as it goes. Libby doesn't happen to be the gorgeous young woman who made you crash, does she? Speculation and rumour. I mean, if it were true, could you blame me? There are too many beautiful women around here. Present, company included. Oh, no, you don't. I am not your plan B. <sighs> I'm just guessing here, but that look said bitter X. Didn't notice. Oh, with respect, you're a liar. An admirably bad one. All right, smarty pants. We had a brief association. And now you're flirting with me to make him jealous and beg you to take him back. Oh, I'm not flirting. Although, hypothetically, if it looked like I was, it would be more to make him move on and give up on me. So you admit you were shamelessly using me? Well... I thought he looked a bit young. Actually, that's... Uh, sorry. If you're going to use me to deconstruct your failed romances, you'll have to buy me a drink first. How about I buy you a drink and we talk sport? See that game last night? Stupid old mole. Well, where does she get off treating us like that? Yeah, well, me winding her up probably didn't help. But she started it. And her boy was ready to end it. <laughs> that baby face. I, I'm not scared of her. Are you kidding? That dude was a gorilla. We so did the right thing backing off. Well, I could have taken him on. And like you said, we're not going to be intimidated. The guy looked like he was fresh out of prison. So? So you'd go in there all boxing gym and he'd be gouging your eyes out with a broken <laughs> bottle. And if you got through him, you'd have his mates on you. Why do we have to end up with the neighbors from hell? Huh? Maybe that Chandra woman's just celebrating her son or whatever, getting out. Once the excitement's over, things will quiet down. Well, in the meantime, how do I stop Mum from ringing noise control? Telling her how scary they are would be a good place to start. No, I don't want her freaking. She's got enough stress with work and her MS and... Then buy some earplugs and set it out. Yeah, I guess. So even after shuffling the nurses around, we're down two seniors and one level two. Well, that's a problem. But at the risk of sounding like an extremely scratched record, there is no, no budget, budget for, for bureau, bureau nurses. nurses. Yeah, yeah. Surely you can dip into another allocation, move some funds around? Probably, but we don't have a say anymore. Talk to Rachel. She'll just look at the numbers and say the patient-staff ratio is fine. Well, I agree. She has no understanding of the differences between nurse grades. So put a bomb under her. We can't go on like this. <laughs> Sorry. What do you mean, sorry? You're the boss. I've talked till I'm blue in the face. Maybe you should try. Why? Because the more people who get in her ear, the more irritated she'll get. The more irritated she gets, the more she'll want the problem to go away. I'm not getting in the middle of some political battle between you and Rachel McKenna. Your choice. OK, OK, I'll talk to her. Good luck. People start partying. By the time they open their first beer, morning sometime. I am so over this. Why should we come home from a hard day's work and have to put up a bat? Well, they might go out later to the pub or whatever. From the number of cars out on the street, I think the pub has come to them. What are you doing? I'm looking for the number for noise control. I wrote it down last night. Well, they can't do anything till sundown, so why don't you wait till then, eh? We had virtually no sleep last night, and I really need to rest because my eyes are playing up. <laughs> There you go. Earplugs. Yeah, you should take the edge off it. No, I think I should go over there. Maybe if I try again with Chandra. No, but it didn't get you anywhere last time. Besides, she might not even be there. It'll just be that guy and his Dax and all his ugly mates. But I have to do something. 
Or do you think they might take it better coming from a younger person? <sighs> yeah, well, actually... What was that? Wait, I'll see. Just that. There was this thing this afternoon. Look, I tried to be nice. I tried to tell them it wasn't fair, but Chandra went mental and it got ugly. And now there's a dead rat on our doorstep? Yeah, which is why talking to them and making more complaints to noise control probably isn't going to help. Come on, we need to get out of here. So while on paper it may look like we've got sufficient staff, we urgently need funds for three more nurses. And why isn't Scotty telling me this? He felt I should talk to you direct. Did he now? And why do you think he thought sending you to do his dirty work would be more effective? I've got no idea. So anyway, about the rosters. The rosters are Scotty's concern, not yours. I need confirmation from one or both of you today. Otherwise, we'll have to cancel surgeries to keep the ward covered. Thanks. I'll take that on board. Thank you. This machete wound was so deep I could see his aorta. Is that this place have a surgical unit? No, just a filthy outpatients area. How'd you fix him? Well, luckily, my man was so drunk, I just stitched him up no local anaesthetic needed. <laughs> Until he woke up. Angry. And then what? Well, I gave him a beer, he drank it and passed out again. So, uh, is the violence the worst thing over there? Mm, the corruption. I mean, half the trick to working the poorer areas is knowing which officials and cops to pay off. Oh, that's terrible. Yep. How long were you a cop again? Detective, long enough to realise I wanted out. I bet you could put me flat on my back just like that. You wish. <laughs> Come on, let's move on from here. All right, back to yours for a coffee. Sorry, I don't do coffee on a first date. This isn't a date. Oh, of course not. We're just having a few drinks in a pub together. Nothing like a date. It's just like your non-date with Libby. Come on, you can show me the clubs I'll be missing out on. You want to go dancing? I'm up for it. Unless you're on an early start. I'm on a late. Perfect. Did you help Maya out with her staffing issues? And here's me thinking you had a spine. Staffing is your responsibility. How am I supposed to do my job when a, a non-nurse outside of my department is making the calls on staffing issues? Well, clearly you need some kind of supervision. Nicole Miller virtually walked out on her shift. Why did you let her? Nicole had to leave for personal reasons. Dying parent or less serious? Less serious. What, did you point out she's obliged to work out her notice? I felt it best to just let her go. Because? Because tensions between her and Maya would have made things difficult. Then you only have yourself to blame. What do you usually do when you're down a few senior nurses? If a reshuffle or begging staff to do overtime doesn't work, I usually end up filling it myself. Well, can't you do that on this occasion? I'm under no obligation to do any more overtime than I already do, and I don't even know if we can afford it. I'm doing half your job, and you're going to work to rule. Work to rule. I like the sound of that. I'm too tired to eat. The only thing keeping me awake is worry. Don't stress, they've made their point now and they'll leave us alone. I still think that we should go to the police about it. And I think you should change the topic. Okay, how's your course going? Oh, it's okay. The students are all terminal geeks. At a web design course, wow. <laughs> a couple of cute girls though. Oi, you're only supposed to have eyes for vegan girl. Oh, I can't help my eyes. As soon as I see a hot chick, they're like compass needles. Okay, but look, not touch. Love the one you're with and all that. <laughs> Happy. Geek? No, no way. Yeah, I saw you looking in the window of that stationery shop. You were perving at the pocket protector. You are such a liar. I was looking at the graphic software. Oh, uh, which is so not geeky. <laughs> it's okay. If you want to invite him over, go for it. Are you sure? Oh, what the hell? Might kill some time. Yoo-hoo. Hot stuff. You really work hard at being embarrassing. Most parents are just lame, but man, you really make an effort. Dad's not to cook, was it? Uh, actually, no. 
Neighbors from hell. We're avoiding them. Yeah, what's the story? Oh, doof, doof from the time they get up to the time they pass out. You try noise control? Yep. Yeah. And that's when we started getting threats and dead rats on the doorstep. Dead rats? What are they, mafia? Yeah. Call the cops. You don't have to put up with that. No, but we still need to live next to them. And right now, we'd like to keep the conflict to a minimum. Well, the conflict's got nothing to do with it. They're completely out of order. All right, that's cool. I'm handling it. Well, if I can help in any way, just let me know. But Seriously. Thanks, but we're okay. Please make yourself comfortable, loosen clothing, take it all off, whatever. I am not going to sleep with you. No? <laughs> mm, no. Tease. Drink? Tiny one. At this late hour, I think cognac is called for. I enjoyed tonight. Mm. Key roads changed since I was here last. Still very funky, though. High Street's great. Mind you, I would have enjoyed tonight if we had just sat around watching traffic lights. You are a lot of fun. I know I have my fault. Still down about Tracy? No. Totally over her, are you? Yep. Liar. Whatever. It's a pity. Tracy's a good sort. No way you can get back with her? I'm a boofhead student, and she prefers high flyers. You are hardly a boofhead, son. See you. Who do I have to sleep with to get a coffee around here? That would be me. <laughs> Busy day ahead? I have to find some money to plug the nursing shortfall. I'll be looking under rocks to find your secret contingency budget. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Yeah, right. Look, uh, are you convinced we can handle the nurse's budget? Absolutely. Let nurses nurse and managers manage. Oh, I'm sure we can, but uh, you'll get it sorted before the conference? Oh, I have to. Scotty will play work to rule if I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Um, excuse me. Hello? Sorry, I need the remote. Mm. Hello. Thanks. Aren't you Harry? And before you say it, it's Warner, not Potter. Hi. Good morning. Uh, coffee? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry about all of this. You've met my cousin, Isaac, I take it. Yeah, we came in quite late. I hope we didn't wake you. No, but he should have given you a proper room. Call yourself a gentleman. Didn't offer our guest a bed. I offers. Um, sorry about that. I think I kind of told oh, you. Fine. Actually, I should probably get going. Are you sure? You're more than welcome to join us for breakfast. No, I've got a, a thing to go to. You know, busy. I can call you a taxi at least. No, it's fine, because I, I usually walk in the morning. It's 5Ks to Scotty's. 5Ks. Perfect. Bye. Bye. So that'd be two complete failures to score in two days. My generation doesn't feel the pressing need to bet every woman the night we meet them. We don't need to overcompensate like you old geezers. Keep thinking that if it makes you feel better. What a horrible night. And long. Just when you thought they'd finished the entire Pink Floyd catalog, bam, there was another album. <laughs> Do you want another coffee? Mm -mm. But you're not even supposed to be having one. I need caffeine if I'm going to make it through my shift today. Yeah. Let me guess. Next door, partied again. Well, partied and then threw the empties into our yard. What kind of losers are they? Oh, and don't forget the dead rat. There was another one of those in the letterbox this time. We're going to have to move out. Unless, of course, the party miraculously stops and they take up something nice and quiet, like, I don't know, dog fights. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me. Chandra's boy finally made parole and now they're just making up for lost time. So call the police, have him locked up again. C guys, this is harassment. Call the police, cue more dead rats and probably even worse. Look, I gotta go. Have you not got tech today? Oh, a couple hours of cyber. Okay, I'll see you tonight. <clears throat> Sarah, this is serious. These people are mongrels. You can't let them call the shots. I agree, but right now, my options are somewhat limited. But so let me go over there. I'll sort them out. No, no. Then talk to the police, like I said. You've had noise, abuse, threats, dead rats. This is enough for the police to nail them for good. Uh, Mr Latu has been cleared for discharge, and Mackenzie needs that suture line rechecked. OK, cheers. 
Scotty, the staffing situation, I hear there's some friction. Well, I still disagree with nursing budget decisions being taken away from me, yes. Well, I'm hoping with good faith that you can help Rachel make the new system work. After all, it takes some admin off your shoulders. It increases the time between finding a problem and getting a decision that solves it. Well, okay. Rachel isn't a nurse, but with your guidance, maybe she can understand your priorities. Can you spare some time after lunch for a meeting? Ten minutes, Max. What's this meeting about? Peace, love and harmony and a solution to the staffing issues. little toe rag. No, I didn't. Yeah, well, one of yours must have, because they were here just before giving us heaps. Well, go figure. You think we're the only neighbours you're driving mad with your noise and your dead rats? You mess with us, boy, that's what happens. Any more threats? And I will call the cops. Nah, me and Clay, we're done with threats. Acute right iliac fossil pain, 8 out of 10. Morphine on route, hypertensive temp 38, 4. IV in situ and mother in the waiting area. OK, let's get you into a gown so we can properly check your stomach, all right? Trace, can you give me a hand, please? Query appendicitis. Sorry? You all right? Yeah, fine. I just had a bit of a late night last night, that's all. Right then, uh, carrying on with what you're doing. Now, oh, Heather, can you get this girl into a gown and do a set of ops, please? Thanks. I'm completely OK. You didn't need to do that. If you say so. I thought you might be needing this. Well, actually, I don't, because I didn't drink that much. No, just not such a good night on the couch. Sorry, I really don't like being hungover at work. It's not a good look. Which is at least half my fault. Sorry. Anyway, here, drink up. We both need all the fluids we can get. I could probably do you a pie, too, if you were desperate. The coffee will be fine, thank you. All good, mate, thank you. Getting trashed and shaking some guy in a bar to rub my nose in it. Really mature, Tracy. Really mature. Okay, well, I will see you on Tuesday. Okay, thanks. See ya. Yeah. <gasps> Daniel, what happened? Oh, drink it for my <gasps> friends next door. They attacked you. Let me have a look. One punch did this? Yeah, as far as I know. I was out for the count. Is it broken? I don't think so, but we'll do a cheek x-ray to be sure. And you were knocked unconscious. <laughs> Probably a couple of minutes. That does it. No, you can't call the cops. That's why this happened. They came over because they reckon that we knocked. Mum, I specifically told you not to. Well, I'm sorry, but Maxwell's right. They have no right to bully us, and they don't. Look at you. Look, this happened because you listened to Maxwell instead of me. Well, what he says makes sense. And you know what? I am going to call the police again right now. No, you're not going to call the cops, all right? I have to. This is criminal assault. Well, I can take a hit. It's OK. This doesn't matter. How can you say that? They could have killed you. So the cops arrest the guy? Then he'll be out on bail in no time, and while he's looking for an alibi, his mates will get us. And I'm not risking you getting hurt. Daniel, I appreciate that you want to protect me, but this has gone way beyond a neighbourhood dispute. These people have to be stopped. No one hurts my son and gets away with it. If they want war, they have got it. I have come up with a solution to the current staffing issue. Return budget to nursing control? To resolve the problems between you over budget control, I would like you to meet weekly to deal with any issues arising and preempt any problems together. Who Who's has got control? control? Rachel will retain control over the budget because that's what she's best qualified to do. And you, Scotty, will be our expert advisor on staff related decisions. So, all in all, status quo plus another weekly meeting? Yeah, only a short one. Also, I found some leeway in one of our surgical budgets. This should allow for replacement FTE in theatre and bureau nurses for the temporary shortfall. OK. Good. Anything else we need to talk about? No, we're done. I'll get started on the staffing side of things straight away. Good. So you found some leeway. Always good to have a bit of leeway. You didn't think to just let me do my job and sort it? I thought if I could help, I should. You didn't think I might have already found a solution? Well, you never mentioned it before. You didn't think this little meeting totally undermines my role? 
No. You virtually gave him veto power as some expert advisor. I wanted you to work together. By doubling both our workloads. I think he could teach you something, Rachel. You don't think I know what's required on the shop floor without Scotty to hold my hand? Well, you're not a nurse. I've got work to do. Restructuring the budgets, I already restructured to sort this mess. Anything else happens, I'm sure you can handle it. You've already done the rest of my work for me. And so I'm sure you'll have no trouble at all coping without Libby. Sorry? Didn't I tell you? I'm taking her on the conference with me. Hey, Tracy's mum rang. Nothing urgent, but can she call her back? Don't look at me. You're going to have to do that yourself. I just thought you'd probably see her first. Unlikely. Very. Things not going too well between you two? Not too well, no. No, she's hooked up with the first available doctor, correction surgeon. Bigger pay packet. Really? Yeah, it's nothing quite like someone going that extra mile to let you know you're not good enough, right? She broke up with you first, though, huh? There was a couple of hours leeway. Good, respectable period. I know you're unhappy, but whining behind my back isn't going to make you feel any better. And you, you can get that disappointed school mom look off your face because the only thing I slept with last night was a TV remote. Hey, it's none of my business. You're damn right, it's not. Nor do either of you have any right to judge me. This way. What the hell happened to him? Oh, well, he was just putting his key in the door when the next-door trailer trash came over and whacked him. Wham! Out like a light. He could have killed him. He's OK, I take it. Well, he does have soft tissue injuries, but it's only a light concussion, so he should be fine. <clears throat> Sorry. Are the police laying charges? I suppose so. Daniel's giving them a statement now. Oh, about time. Yeah, Daniel thinks it's a bad idea, but I don't know. Maybe we should get a restraining order or something. Well, see what the police say, eh? In the meantime, you might want to keep your distance. Oh, I will, all right. We are out of there as soon as possible. No way am I exposing Daniel to any more of that. Yes, I agree. Good, because I will probably call on you to help me shift. If it's to my place, then yes. You need support, Sarah. And Daniel, he's a boy who thinks he's a man. He shouldn't have to put up with stuff like that either. But that's a very kind well, Sarah, of... Sarah, please. I... You and that angry son of yours, I want to take care of you. Both of you. You're moving in with me. The RTE Investigations Unit probes the deaths of newborn babies in a Midlands hospital and asks if the hospital and the HSE have a case to answer tonight at 9.35 here on RTE One.